In the Midwest, the culture is different than on the East Coast. Believe it or not, some passengers feel almost as if they are offending you if they hand you cash, almost like as if they're treating you as though you're beneath them. So they're afraid to tip, believe it or not. It is, especially for millennials and, you know, the younger generations, tipping cash can become an uncomfortable situation for them. They just don't know how to do it or if it's appropriate. So by having a tip jar, a lot of people don't have that. They don't think it's whatever. It's weird, this and that. But having a tip jar in your vehicle brings up the subject, makes it comfortable, and allows them to give you a cash tip without the uncomfortable awkwardness of putting it in your hand. And so I've found it to be very successful. Now on the East Coast and in Florida, this is a tacky this is considered tacky and weird and a, a tip box or tip jar is weird and it doesn't you know on the east coast things are different so midwest this has worked very well for me it's been received positively it brings up the conversation oh you guys accept tips well, yeah, and it allows me to educate them about the expenses of running your rideshare business. The cost of tires and oil changes and gas and the bugs and the car washes and the time and the almost hitting a deer and all your expenses and the miles and the wear and tear that you put on your car. And that really tips are what you are working for. 